It's Friday, September 19th, 2014, and let's talk about what happened this week over at XTADevelopers.com. The big news this week, of course, is that more information has been unveiled about Android One. According to the announcement, the first Android One devices are going to be produced by three OEMs out of India, Spice Mobile, Carbon, and Micromax. They're gonna have quad-core MediaTek CPUs, front and rear-facing cameras, one gig of RAM, micro SD card slot, and two SIM card slots. And what's more, they'll have removable batteries. Google also made a deal with a carrier named Airtel that's going to give all users 200 megabytes of free data, and Google is gonna be providing a customized version of YouTube that allows users to download and store videos on their device to view later so they don't have to use their data allotment. These devices are now on sale and they're through three different vendors. They're all around 6,400 rupees or $105 a piece, so it sounds like a pretty decent deal. And what's even more exciting Exciting than that is that with the release of all these devices, MediaTek, the company making the CPUs for all three of them, went ahead and released the full kernel source for them. Given that MediaTek has had GPL compliance issues in the past, and that's an understatement, it's really nice to see them roll out the source code for it this fast. So if you want to go ahead and get started developing for them, you can clone a copy of their Git repo and just immediately dive into it. The info for that, of course, is in the portal post. And of course, to go along with these brand new devices, forums have been added for the three that are now available, those being the Micromax Canvas A1, the Carbon Sparkle 5, and the Spice Dream Uno. So if if you're planning on purchasing one of those, head on over to see what the other people are saying about it in the appropriate forums. Now moving on to a bit of a quick device update. As of this week, CyanogenMod 11 Milestone 10 officially released for all supported devices. A couple of new devices, such as the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S5, have been added, and unfortunately there are a few devices, like the Droid Max and the Galaxy Nexus for both Verizon and Sprint, that have been dropped. As far as what this new milestone brings along with it, though, there are some new UI elements that are supported by the theme engine. There's now a soft reboot option, there's a glove mode, and there's smart cover support, and quite a few other things. So feel free to read more about it over on the CyanogenMod project page if you're interested in learning more or seeing maybe if your device has received the update. And to wrap things up, a little bit of XDA-specific news. As I mentioned previously, the XDA Pebble Development Challenge voting ended last Friday, and as of this week, the winners have been selected and announced. The winning apps are Drag Racing, Pebbleware, and Geek the Time. So congratulations to all those developers. Additionally this week, the schedule for XDA DevCon has been posted. Looking at it kind of quickly earlier, I noticed quite a few sessions that I am definitely looking forward to attending, and I'm hoping to get to meet quite a few of you guys there as well. Of course, if you're going to be in the area and you don't already have a ticket to DevCon, they are still available for purchase. Just head on over to xdadevcon.com. There's a big old button in the top right corner. And anyway, to wrap things up, as usual, three other videos were posted to XDA Developer TV this week. TK did another Exposed Tuesday talking about using Donkey Guard to control app permissions on your device. Then Adam made a video with Explode Wild talking about how to submit a patch to Garrett. And then TK did another app review talking about controlling your phone using Quick Control Panel. But you know what? That's going to be about all from me for today. You can find the links to all the stories I talked about down in the video description as usual, as well as the links to my YouTube channels if you're interested. Remember, if you like this video, leave us a thumbs up down below the video, lets us know that you care, and subscribe to receive all of our content as soon as it becomes available. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.